as an extreme minimalist almost every year is a low buy or a no buy year but still I thought it'd be fun to show you everything I bought in 2021. It was quite difficult to remember everything I bought but I think I bought around 13 different items and I decluttered some more. One of the first things that I bought last year and that I'd been looking to buy for a long time was organic underwear and socks. I hadn't bought new socks in four years and I really wanted to buy new organic socks instead of buying not organic or polyester socks so I bought 10 pairs of organic socks and 10 pairs of organic underwear. So now I'm pretty much set for a long time. The biggest thing I bought was an office chair. Last year I started to work from home and I wanted an ergonomic chair that wasn't a regular chair so that I could sit in front of my computer and work from home. Another item I got so that I could work from home was a secondhand desktop computer. I got my iBook secondhand for about 800 New Zealand dollars and it's been working great ever since. I always avoid buying new tech because it's so detrimental for the environment and there's so much useful secondhand tech that you can find online. One of the most exciting things I bought last year was my yoga blocks. Again, trying to be conscious about the environment, I chose to go for cork blocks. They're also way superior to foam blocks. I love them so much. I bought them from New Zealand and yeah, I use them pretty much every day. An unexpected thing I bought this year was a new charger for my laptop. This year we fostered a rabbit for the first time in our lives. It was very fun and it was a really cute experience, but he unfortunately ate one cord and that was my laptop charger cord. For the first time in my life this year, I bought houseplants. I've lived in different countries around the world, never having like a home for the past 10 years. So this year, since I've been in New Zealand for two years, I thought it was reasonable to buy a few plants, a few secondhand pots, and then I could make my home a bit cozier without adding more clutter into it by using plants instead of stuff and decorations. I love indoor plants because it helps regulate the moisture levels and it also keeps it a bit quieter and it also cleans the air which is really nice and they're super nice and soothing to look at and water rather than just stuff that collects dust. Another great thing about houseplants is that you can propagate them so from one plant you can make several other plants and plant them in little pots and make them grow and then suddenly from one plant you bought you now have 10 plants that you can give to friends and family or just make your home into a jungle. So with that, I also got like a bulk lot of outdoor pots from a secondhand sort of sale. It was such a good deal. It was a bulk lot of terracotta outdoor pots that had been used for about $20. I managed to keep about half of them and then clean half of them and resell them for I think 20 or $30. So in the end, it cost me nothing. One thing I got for our house was a wooden dowel. So when we moved in here, we weren't really sure what to do with the closet situation because there's only one cupboard and we weren't sure if we will fit all our clothes in it, but I installed a dowel and it works perfectly as a order for both me and my husband now. The next thing I bought last year as an extreme minimalist was fabric to make my own clothes. So this year I bought a mix of natural fabrics and some cutoff fabrics or secondhand fabrics and I've made towels, I've made hand towels, I've made face towels, I've also made some things for our house and finally I've made some clothes for me that you can see in my last video in my closet tour. Probably my favorite thing we bought this year was a water filter. The reason we waited until now to buy it was because this was the first year we felt like financially secure enough to be able to spend, you know, $500 on a water filter, but it makes my life so much better. Our water is super clean and it just makes drinking tap water such a more fun experience. The most quirky thing I bought this year was definitely this sort of dress set. This is a 70s crochet skirt and top and short set from a vintage Instagram store here in New Zealand. It's by a very passionate woman called Dee and she collects New Zealand vintage and sells it on her Instagram and this such beautiful pieces. And when I saw this, this was like all my hippie 70 dreams come true. I have never worn it and um, I don't know how I will ever wear it, but I love it so much and it makes me really happy. It's 100% natural made from cotton, so no plastic and it's from the 70s and it looks like it's completely new. So I just, yeah, it really makes me happy. Another unexpected thing I bought this year that I thought I would never buy was foundation. I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, but I was in this theater show here in Auckland and I had to wear makeup because I was performing on a stage. So I had to buy foundation. I'm still haven't used it up and I probably won't use it up. So we'll see what I have to do with that. And the last thing and number 13 on my list that I got is a sticker from my computer. I got this from Etsy. It makes me super happy. I think it's really cute and I think it's a really fun way to show off the vegan message. So that was everything I bought in a year as an extreme minimalist. I also got a cat out and I upcycled it and then I resold it. So that was very fun. It was one of the first time I'd done that. So the things I decluttered this year was a sofa and some clothing and just some little things I don't use. So I definitely feel like I'm getting a more and more curated space every year. But it's really interesting to look back at a year and see what you bought. And I think this is the least amount of things I bought in a year in like pretty much my entire lifetime since I was a child. So that I'm very, very happy about that. 
and I think not spending so much, not consuming so much is such a good thing. I really try not to be a consumer and instead be proactive about what I own and shopping secondhand is such a good way to get new things that you might need without having a bad impact on the environment and is also so much cheaper. I dream of becoming financially free and one of the quickest ways to get there is to earn an income while not spending money. And one of the easiest ways to not spend money is to just not consume. It sounds easier than what it is, but once you get out of that mindset that you have to buy things to solve your problems, minimalism becomes a lot easier. So I recommend everyone to try a low buy or no buy year, especially if you're starting out as a minimalist, you probably have a lot of stuff from your non-minimalist life and it's really fun to just put that all aside instead of getting rid of it and sort of force yourself to keep it and see whatever you use, what you can make use of and what you really just don't wanna have. I think that's such a good motivator to keep being a minimalist and it's also very fun to see how you can do without and also to see which unexpected items you might actually want to keep. That was everything I bought this year. As an extreme minimalist, I'm super happy to feel like I bought 13 things, but I don't have more things than when I started this year. And my life is definitely just even more curated and I have only things that make me happy. So please let me know if you'll be having a low buy or a no buy year in 2022 and let me know your favorite things that you bought in 2021. Thank you, see you next week.